We got another question from somebody who's asking, do you have any tips on what to do when teens are coming to you with questions or guidance or sharing situations they are in that trust is there, but their parents or guardians don't want you to talk about this? Um, the person writes, I'm a firm believer that the more open we are about topics like sex and sexuality, the better prepared our youth will be. But some of my parents are in the, if we don't talk about it, they won't do it mindsets. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I think that's often the most difficult position to be in. And it's one of the reasons I'm grateful to be able to like pilot into a group and say whatever I want. <laughs> and then people can get mad at me when I leave. Um, so that is one strategy, right? Bring other people in as like experts to share that information. The other thing I would say is parent education is just as important as everything we've talked about today, um, especially when you're dealing with a group of parents who are not you know, they're not digitally immersed as their young people are. We do also now live in a context where facts are often disputed, but I think for the most part, when you're talking with many parent groups, anytime you can bring in like, no, actually here's this research study or, you know, my, um, the town that I live in, our women and family center does a youth survey um, which I know is unique, does a youth asset survey every, I think, two or three years. It's a really important tool for us to be able to say, look, you know, here's what's going on in the town, right? Here's our level of kids who are engaged in this kind of drug use, this kind of sexual behaviors. Here's how our youth identify. Like, this is just the picture of our community. And if this is the picture of our community, how can we start talking about these conversations? So, if you have something like that, you can always use national data, but that's a little, it's not as good to convince parents why you should talk about it in your local context. Um, the other, so parent education, maybe a better demographic understanding of what the youth are struggling with and how they're struggling with it. And then um, bringing in experts. And the, the fourth thing that comes to mind for me that I know has often been helpful is to provide, uh, to provide a variety of ways to get this information. Um, so partner with what else is going on. If, if this young person feels that you are a safe person for information to talk about it, um, if you feel compromised because of leadership wise or that you shouldn't be talking about it, parents don't want you to, um, you can also be someone who provides resources. And I know that might still get you in trouble, um, but it's less trouble than you you directly sharing that information in some context. And I would do that publicly, right? Does your bulletin board or, or digital bulletin board that you have for you, your youth have those resources on it? If not, it should. Um, and, and how can you share that so that it's for everyone and it's not just targeting certain, certain folks in the group?